Hey, this is Leslie with Distill Me This, and today's video we are going to do a beautiful riff on a Boulevardier recipe with Del Professor's bitters and vermouth. And if you're interested in any other videos, click on the uh, tab up there uh, for a, a take on an Aperol spritz that Brad does, as well as an TV and an Amaro education. It's kind of fun. Let's go. kind of show off a cocktail that is actually a little bit more of an after dinner drink. Uh, even though we're using those TV in this drink, those bitter agents, this is going to be a sweeter, more full body drink that's going to kind of cleanse the palate and kind of shut down the digestion at the end of the meal. So it's going to be a riff on a classic drink called a Boulevardier. It's going to be very close to a Boulevardier. A Boulevardier is a riff, of course, on a Negroni, which was a riff on an Americano. Go Google it and you can look up all these different cocktails. Uh, what we're going to do with the Boulevardier, we're going to use four uh, mixing ingredients and then our bar tools. We're going to use a bourbon. We can also use a rye. Quite frankly, you use any kind of American whiskey, but you want that new charred oak flavor. This is a 90 proof bourbon. I actually don't want this to be so blasting with alcohol, but you can go use 110 proof if you want, or you can use an 80 proof if you want. Whatever kind of uh, fits your budget and fits your, your taste. We're going to use two Del Professor products. We're going to use the Canado, which is a vermouth uh, based on a, a sweeter Barbera grape with the Quinchona bark. We're going to use the bitters. Again, this is the, the Milano style red bitters. Nice, good red rhubarb flavors, strawberries, little orange peel, stuff like that. And then we're going to throw in, typically you want to do this in a Boulevardier, but I absolutely love this product. I want to make a nice, dark, almost brooding kind of product. We're gonna use Bitter Truths Bogart Bitters. If you can't find the Bogart's Bitters, look for the Jerry Thomas Bitters. You can pick up Angostura Bitters or any kind of a heavy root bitters, for sure. Bar tools and equipment, we're gonna garnish with an orange peel. We're gonna use our Jigger. This one is gonna be, you wanna keep this pretty tight within the recipe or else the flavor is gonna get out of balance. So use your Jigger on this. We'll use our citrus peeler. We will use our strainer. Our bar spoon, we're gonna stir this drink in our stirring vessel, if you will. And then we're gonna put this in a, a rocks glass like this lovely one right here. Okay, let's get to making a drink. Okay, do an ounce and a half of bourbon. We're gonna do one ounce of the canado. quarter ounce of the bitter liqueur. And then we're going to do one bar spoon of the Bogart's bitters. This stuff is really strong. You can see I splashed a little bit extra. This is going to be a strong bitter drink. Going to add our ice. Depending on the proof of the whiskey that you're using, a higher proof whiskey, you want to stir for longer with more ice. Thank you. 